दिस इज द ऑडियो बुक ऑफ एन सी आर टी साइंस फॉर क्लास सिक्स चैप्टर वन फूड हुएर डज इट कम फ्रॉम What did you eat at home today? Find out what your friend ate today. Did you eat the same kind of food yesterday and today? We will eat different kinds of food at different times. Is not it? Food variety. Activity 1. Ask your friend in the school about the items they would be eating during a day. See if you can also get this information from friends staying in different states of India. List all the items in your notebook as given in the table 1.1 for as many friends as possible table 1.1 what do we eat can fill this chart by giving that the pile eats roti fish rice dal curry etc porobi ate meat roti rice dal curry etc dipta ate bread rice curry etc there seems to be so much variety in the food that we ate figure 1.1 what are these food items made of think about rice cooked at home we take raw rice and boil it in water just two materials or ingredients are needed to prepare a dish of boiled rice on the other hand some food items are made with many ingredients to prepare vegetable curry we need different kinds of vegetables salt spices oil and so on activity 2 choose some of items you listed in the table 1.1 and try to find out what ingredients are used to prepare this my discussing with your friend and elders at home list them in table 1.2 some examples are given here add some more items to list this list table 1.2 food items and their ingredients here we see that the roti chapatis are made with ingredients like as atta water dal is made of pulses water salt oil ghee spices what do we find Do we find some ingredients common for all different food items discussed in the class? So where do these ingredients come from? Food materials and sources. It may be easy for us to guess the source of some of the ingredients that we listed in table one point two. fruits and vegetables for instance figure 1.2 a where do they come from plant of course what are the source of rice or wheat you may have seen paddy or wheat fields with raw wheat you may have seen paddy or wheat fields with rows and rows of plant which give us this grains figure 
and then there are food items like milk eggs and meat which are come from animals the activity 3 let us take the food items listed earlier and try, try to find out where they come from the ingredients and their source for some example are shown in the table 1.3 fill in the blanks in the table 1.3 and add more example to list this table 1.3 ingredients used to prepare food items and their sources we can we can fill this table food item here listed idli the ingredients are rice wood the dal salt water rice source plant Urdadar is also plant. Salt got from nature. Water also got from nature. Chicken curry. Chicken got from animal. Spices got from plant. Oil ghee. Plants. Animal. Water got from nature. Kheer. Milk got from animal. Rice. Plant. Sugar got from plant. What do we conclude from activity 3? Plants are the source of food. Ingredients like grains, cereals, vegetables and fruits. Animals provide us with milk, meat products and eggs. Cows, goats and buffaloes are some common animals which give us milk. Milk and milk products like butter, cream, cheese and curd are used all over the world. Can you name some other animals which give us milk? Plant parts and animal products as food. Plants are one source of our food which parts of a plant we eat many leafy vegetables we eat fruits of some plants sometimes roots sometimes stems, and even flowers figure 1.4 have you ever eaten pumpkin flowers dipped in rice paste and fried try it some plants have two or more edible but edible parts. Seeds of mustard plants give us oil and the leaves are used as vegetables. Can you think of different parts of a banana plant that are used as food? Think of more examples where two or more parts of a single plant are used as food. Table 1.4 Plants part as food. Here we see that the brinjal curry is written. Here the ingredients are brinjal which is the fruit of tree, chili, as spices and any other are the fruit of tree. Oil from ground nuts, mustard, soybean and other planets are parts of seed. Here, a kind of purely question as the tip. She wants to know if any other food comes from source other than plants and animals. Yes, water and salt is come from nature totally it does not come from animals or plants do not try to taste unknown plants around you to see if they are edible some plants could be poisonous activity 4 from all the food item you have listed in the table 1.3 choose those items whose ingredients are obtained from plants, which parts 
of plant identify this and list the food items and plant parts as soon as the table 1.4 activity 5 take some dry seeds of moog or chana put a small quantity of seeds in a container filled with water and leave this aside for a day next day next day drain the water completely and leave the seeds in the vessels warp them with a piece of wet cloth and set aside the following day do you observe any change in the seeds a small white structure may have grown out of the seeds. If so, the seeds have sprouted. Figure 1.5 and 6. One, if do not, if not, wash the seed in water, drain the water, and leave them aside for another day, covering with a wet cloth. The next day, see if the seeds have sprouted. After washing the sprouted seed, you can eat them. They can also be boiled. Add some spices and get a tasty snack to eat. Do you know where honey comes from or how it is produced? Have you seen a beehive where so many bees keep buzzing about? Bees collect nectar, means sweet juices from flowers, convert it into honey and store it in their hive. Figure 1.7 Flowers and their nectar may be available only for a part of the year. So bees store this nectar for their use all through the year. When we find such a beehive, we collect the food stored by bees as honey. What do animals eat? Do you have a cattle or a pet that you take care of? A dog, cat, buffalo or a goat? You will then surely be aware of the food the animals eat. What about other animals? Have you ever observed what a squirrel, figure 1.8, pigeon, lizard or a small insect may be eating as their food? Activity 6. Several animals are listed in the table 1.5. For some of them, the types of food they eat also given fill in the blanks in the table. Table 1.5 Animals and their food Name of the animals Buffalo eats grass, oil, cake, hay, grains, cat eats Small animals, birds, milk, rat eats bread, grains, etc. Lion eats flesh of animal, tiger eats flesh of animal, spider eats the insect, house leader also eats insect, cow eats grass, oil, cake, hay, grain, etc. Human beings eat everything such as vegetables, fruits, meat etc butterfly drinks nectar cows crows meat pieces of garbage activity 7 have a look again at the table 1.5 and group the animal entered here as follows Place animals which eat only plant or plant products in group 1. These are called herbivores. There are some animals which eat other animals. Place these in group 2. These animals 
are called carnivorous. Do you find some animals which eat both plants and animals? Place them in group 3. These are called omnivorous. Prepare a table as in the table 1.6 and enter this separately in the 3 column as shown. Table 1.6 Some examples of herbivorous are cow, goat, horse, deer, elephant. Carnivorous examples are lion, tiger, hyena, vulture, eagle, etc. Omnivorous examples are dog, human, crow, bear, peacock, etc. Here we see that JP Hali wants to know where you would place human beings while filling the table 1.6. Obviously, omnivorous. We know that hey, there are many among us who do not get sufficient food. We need to find ways by which more food can be produced in the country. That will not be enough. We will need to find ways to ensure that this food is made easily available to each one of us.